Lesson four, reach high. As you reflect on how you want to advance your journey, don't sell yourself short. Reach high. Set a lofty and worthy ambition for yourself. Be aspirational. Your journey is special. Make the most of it. For better or worse, most of you spend more of your waking hours doing or at least thinking about your work as compared to most everything else you do. To that end, I believe you owe it to yourselves and those around you to make that work as meaningful as possible. In my case, my ambition is to help build world-class organizations that defy the critics and thrive in the face of adversity. Notice I didn't say that my ambition was to be a world-class CEO. For me, it's all about the work, not the prize, and certainly not the title. Let me dimensionalize this thought. After my job was eliminated at General Mills, I ultimately took a lesser job in terms of title and compensation with Kraft Foods. Despite better financial opportunities, I took the job because I found the work, the people, and the opportunity more appealing. And because of my experience level, I was able to hit the ground running and ultimately was promoted to an attractive vice president level in about a year. From that job, I had an intriguing opportunity to go to work in the corporate strategy area, working with both the CFO and president of Kraft. However, to take the position, I had to give up the vice president title, the line responsibilities, and the staff that I had worked so hard to secure. As you can probably guess, I chose to pursue the opportunity. Incidentally, the president's name was Jim Kiltz, who later went on to be the chairman and CEO of both Nabisco and Gillette. I learned more in my years of working for him than I ever could have imagined at the time, and certainly more than I would have learned had I stayed in my previous job. From my perspective, having a preoccupation with titles and the trappings of success is dangerous territory. So I encourage you to reach high, give yourself over to the work, and the rest will take care of itself. One other thought on the reach high lesson. Bring an all things are possible abundance mentality to your thinking, not a scarcity mentality. Jim Collins, the noted author of the books Built to Last and Good to Great, has a great way of expressing this idea. He challenges people to avoid the tyranny of the or and to discover the genius of the and. A scarcity mentality works like this. Do you want sales growth or do you want earnings growth? Do you want to invest in our people or do you want to return more money to our share owners? Do you want to be tough-minded or do you want to be tender-hearted with your coworkers? I believe a more worthy, world-class ambition grows from an abundance mentality that says, I want to drive sales growth and earnings growth. I want to invest in our people and return more money to our share owners. I want to be tough-minded on standards and tender-hearted with my coworkers. And by the way, the landscape in the business world is covered with successful companies who have leveraged this abundance mentality to the fullest. At this point, let's briefly review the first four lessons. Empower yourself. Recognize you have the power to choose your response to any and to every situation. Choose to influence those around you with honor. Advance your corporate journey with the end in mind. Reflect on and chart your course. As you think about where you are headed, reach high with an abundance mentality. Don't sell yourself short.